Hi everybody. Hey. Today everybody. we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. <laughs> so uh, we got word that there is a crazy long backup going into Dollywood for spring break, and uh, we've seen this before. Yeah. In fact, it happens quite often. But I don't think we've ever made a video on it. Or at least we've never shown you how busy, at least trying to get into Dollywood is. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do this. It's a beautiful morning here in the Great Smoky Mountains, and it is spring break. Town is just busy, crazy busy, um, just nuts. In fact, we're going to go over to Dollywood right now and show you just the traffic getting into Dollywood. And this is the traffic heading into Dollywood. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's 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 going to be a busy day. And they're already parking in Splash. And Dolly has been open for an hour, over an hour now, hour and a half. Now look over here, that's the traffic that's going in the splash. And these folks here haven't even paid for parking yet. Now, from what I'm hearing, um, all the parking near Dollywood has already been spoken for. And splash is already half full. And there's still folks pouring in. Now, I heard that this traffic is backed up all the way into Pigeon Forge. And you can see over here, yeah, it's just going to be a spring break day in Dollywood. I love every moment. And we're not going there today, are we? No, <laughs> uh, no you wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to catch me at all. Yeah, and Splash is, they're already in Splash. Splash yeah. is half full. Um, it is exactly 11 o'clock, I think. You can see them backed all the way up by the, the curb. So Dollywood <laughs> has been open for an hour. And of course, Dollywood's parking opens an hour before that. So, you know, technically, you know, but... So that left lane, or that right lane, it'd be the right lane over there is is backed up. And those are folks that are waiting to get in. And yet again, that that right lane over there is just those are those are folks that are waiting to get into into Dollywood. And I heard it's backed all the way up into Pigeon Forge, all the way onto the parkway. Now, if you're waiting in line right now, by the time you park, by the time you, um, you know, you get inside the park, and there's a chance that you might not even find parking at this moment. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, we're up on Rocky Top already, Rocky Top Mountain Coaster, and uh, there's still that right lane is still, it's going to be miserable in that park, you know what I'm saying? Like, just miserable, yeah. it's going to be so many folks, you're going to wait, you know, two hours for, uh, <laughs> to get on a ride, it's going to be, elbow to elbow, and yet again, you'll notice that that right lane is, uh, 
is people backed up getting into Dal going into Dollywood. Oh my goodness, right? Dollywood was crazy. Yes. It was packed. Yeah. So I got word from one of our friends this morning that was heading into work. He said, Will, you got to get out there and show us. Now, when he told us about it, he said it was backed up onto the parkway. We are going to attempt to drive into Gatlinburg to see how bad um, traffic is. I have a feeling we're going to be waiting for at least an hour before we even get into the city. But we'll see. It is exactly 11.30 here on Dollywood Lane. And we're going to time from 11.30 to the time we get into downtown. And then we're going to drive through the town and see how busy the streets are and, and what it looks like. Welcome to Pigeon Forge. You got the Pigeon Forge bus. That will be going to the, the Gatlinburg welcome center and then probably dropping people off so they could do a transfer onto the Gatlinburg bus system so you can that that's an alternative you don't want to technically drive into Gatlinburg and pay to park um, go over to the, um, to the Pigeon Forge bus terminal and hop on a bus going to, to the Gatlinburg welcome center and then jump on a Gatlinburg bus, transfer over to head into downtown. Save you parking um, and all that jazz. Welcome to Gatlinburg, the gateway to the Smokies. Billy Golf. And there's a little bit of a lineup for the Billy Golf. In fact, there's a big lineup for. City garage, the aquarium garage, is full. So I'm, I'm assuming both city lots for ten dollars are full. On a day like this, we're gonna, if we put work to park, mm -hmm. it's gonna be at least twenty dollars, at least twenty dollars to yeah. park. Um, and I'm assuming we could pay up to thirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To park. Uh, we're just going to be driving through today. We're not. We're not staying. We have a, a doctor's appointment later on. But yeah, we wanted to see how how busy it is. And uh, okay, so that was exactly forty five minutes. And I consider us officially being in Gatlinburg now. Um, forty five minutes. That's not too bad. Uh, we've we've waited up to an hour and a half taking that route so it's not not crazy busy in Gatlinburg Space Needle Chalet Village straight ahead up on the mountaintops there yeah. Yeah, beautiful tulips, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Spring is here. Ah, it's nothing like being in Gatlinburg during spring. And these are the spring break crowds. It is 
uh, 12, 15, about 45 minutes since we left Gatlinburg, I mean Pigeon Forge. Um, and it, it, looks, it looks quite busy, don't it? Yep, it looks busy. It does. We got, got the bears out. The bears are out. Ah, yes, Earthbound Trading Company. Looks like everybody's having a great time. There are smiles on everybody's faces. Mm -hmm. You'll be very, very careful when you drive through Pigeon Ford. I mean, people want to call it Pigeon Ford. Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. Um, because of those crosswalks back there. Ooh, I could smell caramel corn. Caramel corn smells good. It does, it does. I def definitely recommend stopping at Caramel Corn. Grab yourself a, a bag of that now. Uh, yeah. Earthquake the ride. The FF. They're all taking selfies with the selfie beer. <laughs> they are. That's uh, cute. So there must be a, a, an F. Future Farmers of America are also having their convention. I see a lot of folks walking around um, in their in their jackets. So I'm, I'm assuming that's what's going on. So now that parking there is $20. And the lot is full, so you couldn't even park there if you wanted to. There's Stangla's Big Sausage. You can get your character drawn. That lady there has a an ogle dog. Ogle dog. Good choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so now here's Arcade City, all kinds of video games, and the Chicken Guy, which has been a real big top topic, is still the building still empty. I did hear that there is a new eatery coming in that spot that's just a rumor at the moment and Johnny Rockets and our favorite Mexican eat local borough they tore down the the old McDonald's building and the Puckers building the China Bazaar building is looks really good looks like they're about ready to start working on the inside and take a look at those crowds the, the sidewalks can barely hold everybody <laughs> and that kind of scares me because you don't know if somebody's gonna fall out into the road or it's it's kind of scary in the old Gatlinburg Inn that's where old Rocky Top was was written Sky Park, so it used to be called the Sky Lift, then became Sky Sky Lift Park, and now it's just Sky Park. I can smell food. Uh, I can smell, like, I can smell Fanny Farkles. Yeah. That's what that is. Fanny Farkles. Yeah. The streets are buzzing, though, aren't they? We're about almost 12, 1230 ish. You know, Sugar Lands is very popular. I see a lot of Michigan, like Michigan t shirts, you know, Spartans, uh, Michigan, you know, um, University of Michigan. Yeah, so you must be having the Future Farmers of America. I've seen a lot of folks, a lot of kids dressed up in their in their uh, their jackets and their garb, I guess. When I was part of DECA, we used to have these things called DECA blazers. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, we got the, the yeah, mellow, yeah. the mellow mushroom. That's some good pizza. It is, it is. 
Aladdin. Oh, the beer is out. He's cute. That's yeah, the construction guy. Yeah. Barrio. Yeah. So you got snow people during during winter, right? You have you have the pumpkin people. Mm-hmm. They're in fall, and then you have the bears, the bears. Pretty much all spring and summer. It, it, it's, it's so packed. It's, it's hard to take it all in. It is. It is. Now, this parking here um, is open. They got parking spaces. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the more expensive or place to park. I'm not sure. I'm going to catch it when I go by. That's 20 That's only $20. That's not too bad. There's a place, though, that's like 30 somewhere along the, the way here. Hampton Inn, Ober Mountain, and usually at this point, town starts dying down a little bit. It um, you know, not not everybody goes this far down into Gatlinburg. What in the world was that? <laughs> he had some kind of weird-looking flag on a stick. Go ahead and make a turn here, and so now we're we're heading north through Gatlinburg. We're gonna go up the other side. Always a wait at Crockett's, and there's a wait this morning, but that that will move pretty quick. But it's being afternoon. I mean, imagine most folks got their breakfast in by now. Cherokee Grill here on the right, highly recommend for dinner. Got great steaks in there. Now these guys got flags on there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the flags. Uh, I wonder if this is like their steak competition. FFA is how you say it. Future Farmers of America, right? Yeah. Some of that, um, different, um, like, logos on the back of their coats. Yeah, they have like different like um, maybe you know, different things that they belong to. Like maybe one might be, you know, the science part of you Whoa. know what I mean? Yeah, the road here is kind of banged up back there, ain't it? Yeah. All the tulips are all, gosh, I love mm-hmm. it when the tulips, tulips are are amazing. Star Cars. We just got done redoing doing a review of Star Cars not too long ago. People are darting on everywhere. Yeah. People are getting their pictures taken from the Gatlinburg sign. The Gatlinburg Bears. And it's a, a nice day out for a walk. It is. A little on the chilly side, but not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. This is a Monday. So this weekend coming up, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, this place will be just crazy. Uh, this times four, right? Yeah. And uh, it's going to be crazy. Ripley's is always a popular attraction to to visit. Well, wow, look how busy. Is yeah, this this, this is, is the like they're this part. They're just like right they're in the like, middle of the road. Wow. Careful.
That guy is up too far. Yeah, he shouldn't have been that far forward, right? Yeah. That guy's trying to get in. People keep darting out in front of him. Uh, everybody's having a good time, though. Smiles on everybody's faces and smell of um, onions and peppers in the air. And They can't go forward either. we got to wait because everybody keeps darting out. So now there's parking here. What is it there? It's twenty dollars there, so parking's twenty dollars back there. Yep. Also, Escape games. Another one of those crazy bears, yeah. right? People are getting their photos taken next to them. It's pretty crazy. Oh, the fanny farkles. You can smell the corn dogs being cooked. No. Fanny farkle dogs. <laughs> the ogle dogs, right? Ogle dogs, yeah. They smell good. Jason Aldeans, right? Yep. Sun diners, people waiting outside to get inside. And, yeah, wow. And the pancake pantry is coming up on the right. They got the fresh squeezed lemonade hot dog steam. Now there. with it being 1230, there isn't a wait to get into the pancake pantry, but um, but inside the pancake pantry it looks pretty busy, don't it? Where's my favorite, one of my favorite stores, the Buckboard 2. You know, the clock peddler's been there forever, too. When I was a little kid, I remember going in there and looking at the cuckoo clocks. And One of these days, you're going to have to get one. Yeah, we got a plan. Yeah. We have a plan to get a cuckoo clock in the future. It's, um, it's going to be fun, right? It's going to yeah. be an adventure, it's going to be an adventure to get yeah. that cuckoo clock, but... Uh, it's going to be well worth it. It's going to be lots of fun. Can't wait for that. Yeah. And that's the line for Anna Keystone. Wow, it's packed. Yeah, it is. Really packed, but uh, so we're not gonna go back into Pigeon Forge because I know there's a little bit of a backup going into Forge. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take the back roads back, so we're gonna we're gonna go up 321. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna get there quicker. <laughs> Ooh, it is packed. And then this is the traffic coming into Gallenberg on 321. People making that turn to go to get to to go into downtown. Oh wow. Wow, look at them all turning here. 
Yeah, that's a back way to get into downtown Gatlinburg there. But not too bad. I mean, this is about normal for a weekend, but this is Monday. This is Monday, so this is not like a Saturday or, or Friday. Yeah, this is packed for busy on Monday. And folks said it's going to do it today for us being in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and seeing all the backup for spring break. Yeah, and uh, it's going it's to be busy. It's normal, uh, but figured a lot of folks like seeing that. They want to yeah. see what's going on and it, it was Monday so it's going to get busier as it goes throughout the week and um, I think personally we're not going to be down there <laughs> to add to all that uh, so we're going to find more quieter things to do the rest of the week uh, but yeah so if you're coming pack your patience uh, the, the Great Smoky Mountains is a beautiful place to be especially in springtime get out in those mountains do a little a little hike in maybe a little uh, look for some wildflowers and a good time. That's going to do it for today here in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. You guys like this vlog? Give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you miss these upcoming Smoky Mount Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.